Welcome to part three! Next person. A triple. One, do you think Doom Guy is sexy? No! The Doom Guy from Doom 3 is fat. Or, well, he's probably not, it's just the armor makes him look fat. No, it doesn't, it makes him look. I don't know, big. But no. And the original Doom Guy from the old Doom games, I've never liked his face, to be honest. His hair's moldy. Two, should Doom Guy and the guy from Quake 1 get married? Probably, just so that the Doom Guy or Quake Guy don't ever have a chance of stalking me so that they'll be happy together but mainly so that they can get married and go off and quit the life of killing sexy monsters so the imps can live and hell knights alright next person Kyla Wyla wah 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 it's like a helter skelter one will you start doing classic doom wads again like if you ever run out of things to do. Maybe some Mega Wads. I'll probably get around to doing them again eventually, but I doubt I'll ever do Mega Wads. I've been expect well, I've been sort of thinking for a while there'll probably be some Mega Wads on my live stream channel, but I haven't really got around to any properly yet. Because the one I did try got stuck on and for a while I didn't want to start a new one because I was still playing that and I don't like quitting games halfway through. But no, I never I don't I expect I'll ever do Mega Wads for this channel. But yeah, I'll probably get back to doing Wads eventually. Two, have you ever considered creating your own Doom, wa Doom Wads or mods for Doom 3, other than the sound mod? I'd like to, but I've tried, and I just can't get my head around the programs. I wish I could make mods for Doom 3, because I'd make some kind of weird, funny, silly mod, with like a demon strip club, and it'd be the most funniest thing you've ever seen and played because you get to play an interactive quick time event scene with an imp and a hell knight but the, the the hell knight's only there if you play on a hard mode if you're playing on easy or medium then it's just the imp that you have to take care of but in hard mode a hell knight comes in and you have to like make sure he doesn't miss and what stop saying what make sure he puts it in the right hole what anyway i'd like to but yeah i can't really understand the programs. I don't have the patience for learning new programs anymore. I'm getting old! No, I'm not. Next person, Wakeford 90... Wakeford 29. The Lost Finale. What did you think? Oh! Look away now, kids, if you don't want spoilers. Because I'm going to talk about The Lost Finale. Three, two, one. Well, I'm not going to talk about it for long, but I was happy with it, I guess. I was kind of disappointed that there were quite a lot of things that were left unanswered, but in a sense, it was kind of a good thing too, because if you think of real life, you're never going to know everything, are you? So, it's kind of good to leave some mysteries to keep people thinking even after the show ends, and lets people sort of answer things themselves. But, I, yeah, there were a few things. But I was overall happy with the ending. It made me cry a bit. Well, not exactly cry, it made my eyes wet. Although that might have just been because my favourite TV show was ending. But yeah, I liked it. The season 6 overall was a bit weird, and I wasn't enjoying it as much, but I thought the ending was good. Another Lost Re- 2. Another Lost Related question. Are there any unanswered questions that you feel need answering? And if so, which questions? Well, a few things. Uh, I've kind of gone out of Lost mode now because it's over and stuff, and I've forgotten all the stuff that I wanted to find out the answers to but never did. But there was that one bit where they were in a boat in the ocean, I think it was in season 5 maybe, and then they randomly got shot at by another boat and we couldn't see who was in the other boat and we never found out who that was. That was weird. I'd also like to know what, what was up with Desmond's visions, you know, because he said that whole thing about Claire and the baby get on a helicopter but they never did obviously. What the fudge? They're the only ones I could really think of. Next person. Oh, wait. You can come back now. The picture's probably gone away that was saying, like, I'm talking about Lost, if there was a picture. I don't know. It probably doesn't matter. If you're a Lost fan, you've obviously watched the finale by now anyway. And if you're not a Lost fan, well, you could probably care less. Or probably couldn't care less, actually, because you care so little about Lost already if you're not a Lost fan. I never understood that saying, I could care less, like when you don't care about something, because saying you could care less 
means that you at least like it a bit and you could care less than you currently do. What? Anyway, next person. Shy Draconis. Dragon! One, why are you taking a break on Doom Wads? Basically because I still love Doom and everything. I'll never get tired of it. But when you just play all these Wads, so many Wads, wads of gum you sort of start feeling like they're all the same thing they all feel the same even though they were all very different and stuff but i don't know sometimes you just need a break i am i do miss them but it was partly for the the watchers as well it's nice to mix things up a bit yeah yeah two is there going to be a point when you won't do questions and answers because of the amount of subscribers that is kind of the issue with doing this one I wanted to do another questions and answers, but I wasn't sure if I could be bothered because I knew I was going to get like hundreds of questions. I'm not sure if I'll do any more after this. Hopefully. Maybe. Well, what do you mean hopefully? No, not hopefully. But maybe. But this might be the last one. I'd like to do another Ask the Chipmunk though because that was fun. Next person. Hellfire RLH. H. H. One, will you ever do reviews? Oh, there is only one. Will you ever do reviews? I know you grade games at the end most of the time, but what about a whole video review? I've been thinking for quite. Bleh, I've been thinking for quite a while. I'd like to do game reviews, but I think it's just it'll just take too much effort and planning. Because sometimes, or well, most of the time, I'm not really that good at speaking my mind about stuff and saying what I actually mean. So I'd probably end up correcting myself half the time but also it would probably mean I'd have to play through the game again before reviewing it and like make a mental note of everything that I could put in the review it's just too much work ah so I'd like to but I doubt I will there next person and last person CJ1500 Lost Via Domus has to be one of my favourite LPs are you planning to do some more obscure games? not that it was an obscure game just that it was very different ah uh, I don't really know many obscure games like I guess the I guess this one I got for PS2 extermination might be kind of obscure because I'd never heard of it before but it might not be it's all about luck really really I suppose depends what I come across and want to play it'd be cool though I like different games but no idea okay this was gonna be the end of that this part but no the naff up ruined everything but so everything will be back to normal after this part anyway Next person, your mama loves me, one, two, three, four. Which one is more sexy, Spyro or Yoshi? Obviously Spyro. Yoshi's just cute. Spyro is the sex. Yeah. Nice, ne no, nice person, yeah. Next person, nuclear bulldog. Favourite pizza topping. Things that make you go, mmm. It's just about everything, really. Probably pepperoni, especially like the ones that are slightly spicy. Because they're yum. I like almost any kind of meat on my pizza. Pepperoni is just probably my favourite, because I always spaz out about pepperoni. Like if we're having a meaty pizza, does it have pepperoni on it? I need pepperoni. Next person, C V Geeps. What? What were the most annoying aspects of Half Life and Half Life Two you experienced while playing? Uh, well, easily the most annoying aspect of Half Life One was Zen, because I hate platforming in first-person shooters. It's just silly. Well, it's mostly alright, I guess, except that one bit where the holes in the floor open and they launch you out and you have to, like, land on stuff to reach the portal, teleporter thing. And Half-Life 2? I'm not really sure. I guess the first thing I can think of is the bit in um, Nova Prospect where you have to use the turrets to defend yourself. I always hate that bit. That's the worst bit I can think of, in my opinion. Next person, Mark Horror Productions. How can you manage playing every day and having a job? Don't you feel attracted to the computer sometimes and start to mess with the real life? Well, I don't play games every day really, though I do spend pretty much all my time on the computer other than when I go out for a bike ride and exercise and all that. But the job that I currently have I sort of do at home so I can do it while sitting in front of the computer watching videos and talking to people. So like, sure, I'd probably have more of a, like, life quote unquote if I went out and did stuff if I didn't have a computer but the most important person in my life is on the computer well I talk to them online until I go and live with them so for now the computer contains my life 
Next person, 81 Aldon. One, will you do a Mirror's Edge walkthrough? I've already recorded Mirror's Edge, it's not uploaded yet though. On my channel page, on, well, on Piece of Pie Software's channel page, there's a list under To Come in order, and um, that shows the games I've recorded and what order they're coming in. So, always check that if you're wondering if I'm going to do a game, because it might already be there. Two, who is your favourite person you subscribe to? Not sure, really. I guess, maybe, I'd say either the Dragon Boy or Manga Minx. I really like their playthroughs at the moment. But also, one of my favourite people I'm subscribed to is Shadehards. They do, like, daily vlogs of their general life, which is cool. It's fun to see what they get up to and watch how... Well, they're just a fun family. Go and check them out. Shadehards. S-H-A-Y-T-A-R-D-S. Okay, that's the end of this part.